Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. We are here in the def well, not the Defense Against the Dark Arts. Which one is this? Charms? I can't actually. No, it's not charms. I have no idea where I am. Professor Fig's classroom. I guess we never take this class. I'm not sure what he does, to be honest. But I am Professor Black. We have drinking a polyjuice potion, and we're gonna go find his house elf and find the password to the headmaster's office. Because we just went and talked to Fig you about it. Moment, Professor. Absolutely. <laughs> Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably <laughs> best not to discuss it here, sir. Uh, yes. Really? Why can't we talk about potions? No, that's here? not what I meant. Seems fine to me. I wanted to well, agree and have him. I've brewed the cure for boils. You wanted? I can drop it by your office when oh, it's convenient. Oh, it's embarrassing. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir. If you insist. I do, and thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. <laughs> okay. Now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. Oh my god. Literally just a joke now. Greetings! I mean, out of my way, children. Greetings! <laughs> <coughs> I mean... <coughs> hey. You. Gareth! Uh, Mr. Weasley! What are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor, yes, of course. There's all sorts of places I'd rather be right now. Uh, do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago. Muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. Yes, of course. I am watching you, Mr. Weasley. Mr. Redding, who owns Honeydukes, tells me some of his billywig stings recently went missing. Prime potion ingredient. And I know you fancy yourself a skilled potioneer. What? But, sir, I haven't been anywhere near Honeydukes. I... Bah! That's enough from you. Just know that I have eyes and ears everywhere. On your way, Mr. Weasley. Yeah, that's right. Scolded. By the person who actually helped you. Diary. What'd you say? Fine. All this belongs to me. Are we gonna run into the real Professor Black? <laughs> Just walking around, nonchalant. Oh, walked right into it. I was trying to look at that. Chewing with your flu mouth powder. Open? Where are your manners? Yeah, at Christmas time. Headmaster, here, what could he want? Ominous. Mr. Gaunt. What happened to my graphics? Where'd they go? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply Bring them back. Outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I, I have to write 20 inches on Dittany, and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes. Mixed with uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. Yeah. Going to St. Mungo's. To find out what happened to my graphics. When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I, uh, I simply mourn for the future of the wizarding world. I think I'm trying to. You don't need to idly insult the world to be perfect. You can walk around silently. A word? Hey, perfect. You're exactly what I'm looking for. Professor Black, again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. Can we reverse the decision? We, we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say I've knocked some sense into them. And they're fine now. 
The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to. What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I. You are quite impossible sometimes, sir. Good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry of Earth. You haven't done that yet? I'm kind of shocked. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. Okay, onward! To find the elf. Hey, can you guys like wait till I'm out of earshot or something? Okay. You need to be on fire. Do I not have magic? I have no magic, as Professor you call Black. That a shine on those boots. Do better. I thought I was gonna be able to like use the unforgivable curses under his name. I've never found this one before. Don't talk about it. Too late, Cressida. I don't even know you. Miss Broom. A word. Broom? Oh, Professor. This is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Non-verbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at <laughs> it, Broom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible. I mean, I've seen them about. I mean... Yes, sir. <laughs> Speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? Answer the question. Ah. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, everybody. I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. All right, into the great hall. Up, uh, no, up, uh, no. I need to speak. No, 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 no. Was this a horror Hello, game? Professor God damn it, ah, Professor Weasley! How, how delightful to see you, sir. Ah, uh, since I have you here, I Is wonder if I might um speak with you about That's the, Professor uh, Fig. Armor uh, stands destroying each other enough. in the back. I decided to give him a bit more uh, leeway with his time. Leeway. <laughs> Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. What? <clears throat> Goodness. Well, you cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into uh, Good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. Yeah, get out of here and stop paying attention. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never understand. Yeah, that. right. And you. We were having a conversation. Professor Fig some breathing room? Could you be a little less rude, huh? Thank you. God, no respect in these halls. Professor uh, Black in here already? No? Okay. Go, 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 go. Wait until Master sees what a wonderful job Scrope is doing. You're doing an awesome job, Scrope. Scrope. Oh, oh, greetings, Master. Scrope. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself.
And now I'm telling you that you can tell me. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, uh, scope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. Of course, of course. Um... It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always, always pure. pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pur. Ha! Thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Oh, that was easy. Uh, ahem. The polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. What was I saying? I want to read that. It looks fine. Can I have an announcement? Attention, everyone! I am your leader! Follow my or- Stop belching. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of sight. Out of sight, out of mind. Ah, <sighs> made it just in time. It's wearing off. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Hell yeah, gargoyle time. Well, that was a good little escapade. I got my spells back. I miss being Fig. I was the ruler. I owned the halls. Now I'm just a student who wears way different clothing than every other student in the school. <laughs> okay. Before we go ahead and do the next main story mission, I think, yeah, this Grief and Vengeance, we're gonna do that. Where is it? Show me. Doesn't sh tell me. Show me. Is it this? No. Oh, that's definitely the Headmaster thing, right? Access the headmaster's office. Right. It's the world map? Where's Natty? Oh no, I saw it. It's right beside me actually, isn't it? Am I tracking it too? Speak with Natty. Where do I gotta go? She's right here. What the hell? Hello. Ah, I have been meaning to speak with you. This is extraordinarily convenient. I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors, and news travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. I don't blame her for being concerned. We have been involved in some dangerous activities. Yeah. As the Ash <laughs> you might have died. It was close. Life, it did occur to me that my mother may have been right. <laughs> <laughs> has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence okay. <laughs> we provide? She has not. Harlow is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him. Gotta Whether it is take it into our own hands. Singer, if someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabilinant, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill. And so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Galloping. Your father was right. also in oh, yeah. Omega, I That's cool. He could become the most majestic giraffe. And he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, 
They turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them, and then he was gone. <sighs> and it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. Do you think your father would approve of the things we've been doing? Oh my, that is a good question. In theory, yes. Although he would worry as my mother does. Yeah, of course. But I think he, of all people, would understand my persistence. My father never shied away from a fight for good, no matter how ruthless the foe. And I think he would have enjoyed knowing that I had a compatriot like you. Do you think taking down the Ashwinders will avenge your father's death? No. Vengeance is not what drives me. My father would not want that. He, and my mother, raised me to believe that it is a privilege to be able to fight for those who cannot. I know there is risk involved, but I feel it is worth it. <laughs> I am glad you seem to think so too. I don't see the irony in that logic, and then saying it's your own fault for him protecting you when you were young and powerless. What does your mother think about all of this? Well, as you saw, she worries a great deal. She is an excellent seer, but I think it bothers her to this day that she did not see my father's death coming. She misses him, as do I. So I believe on some level she understands my need to seek justice in a small way. Seek justice and revenge, those are different, right? I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. Beginning and with he Harlow? Is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. Thank you again for saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. Okay, good conversation. Now we go to the Headmaster Tower. It's through the main gates. We're gonna walk there. Because this castle is just wonderful. It's beautiful. Hey. Yeah, let's do it. Where did it go? Like, seriously, where did it end up? Revelio. Over there? How do I get over there? Aha! It's been a while since I've messed with these Dedalian keys. Do it! Do the thing! Got no, Nope, yep, got it. I thought it was too late. It visibly went too far. Okay, cool. Back up the tower. I think I went through those people. See, this is why it's a good reason to, to run around. I got, like, other locations I don't Rebellion. have. Like, you hear that ding? What is that even for? Right there. 
That's XP. I could level up from that. I could just click a button. And it could be like, hey, you're level 29. And I don't do that stuff enough. The Revelio simulator, I don't click it enough. I don't want to, I'm not doing that right now. I'm probably going to do a lot of, like, there's a million one of those, a million Merlin trials. I'm not positive if I'm going to actually 100% this save file, but I'm definitely going to spend some time doing some of that off-camera. Maybe I'll splice together some clips of me doing them all in a row. Okay. I got a phone call. I had to stop and take it. Hey, look, a chest. You're not moving, are you? That would be unsettling. Handy resource indeed. Your field Did I see that? Did I see that right? Rebellio. I'm not running back down there. I don't know. I think I heard a key. I don't know if it went down there or not. What's up, bro? Shake a hand. Go in here. Definitely never walked up this staircase. This is a cool hallway. Kind of a long trek back to your office though, if you're the headmaster. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Level three, yep. Can't do that. Level two, can't do that. And then there's a level one. Get rewarded for however many you did, or don't get rewarded at all if you only did the one. Gotcha. That way? What's this way? Whoa. Is there a puzzle here? Interesting. The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Toujours pure. Very cool. Nothing behind here. Obviously. Okay, cool. What the hell was that? Oh, this. No problem, no problem. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. Revelio. Ah, that's what that sound is. Sorting hat. Can we have a chat? No? Okay. That is a really cool wand handle. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot say more. You may recognize some elements of it, as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Sounds like it. Painter to be built by the ministry. Uh, let's 
That's cool. That statue follows me, looks at me. That must be the pedestal. Well, this is the third trial. So far, I've had all the other trials as episodes on their own. So even though it is a little bit shorter, I am going to call it here. I think it was actually a great episode, with the Professor Fig polyjuice potion bit. And then just running around the castle for a bit. Thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed, leave a like, leave a subscribe. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good one.